Alright, uh, so like I said, I removed the cards here. Uh, this is the digital card. And then underneath, so this is on top, and uh, underneath is, is this card, which is the uh, uh, RF card. And the RF card, let's see, let's take this out. so the RF card goes underneath, and then this screw hole here and this screw hole here match with that screw hole there and that screw hole there. So the uh, receive gets connected there and the transmit gets connected here. Now there was an extra coax and that extra coax went to this location and I, I cut it off and so that the, the coax used to go here and then the receive went here. So actually these two sections that look identical are identical. Uh, one antenna goes through this section and one antenna goes through this section. Um, so uh, it goes into this, so, so this antenna goes down this way, goes into a pre-selector and a low noise amplifier, and then it goes into a LO with a mixer, and then it goes into an IF stage, which is the crystal filter, and these are tuning for the crystal filter. Uh, so it's a four pole crystal filter. And then the other side, this antenna goes through an, an, an LC, then goes through the exact same circuitry. And so they use it as a, uh, a, a diversity antenna. So if you get any uh, multi-path phase noise that cancels out the signal, by having two antennas, you can figure out which one you should be listening to if you have two different paths. The, the two antennas have to be separated by some distance for this to work. Um, so that's why, that's why there's two paths. And then the transmit section comes out this connector here, which bolts to that screw down there. Now, since I had this coax and I cut it off, I went ahead and I soldered it to that connector. So now this um, uh, connector on the outside goes through the coax and goes to where the transmit input to the final amplifier was. So in theory, this should now be a UHF amplifier um, and should work just great. Now, there's this one connector here and that connector is described in a website that I found and it says that uh, there are different things on the connector. There's raw battery, which you come in. There's an ignition sense. So the uh, connector has two red wires, a big red wire and a little red wire. So this is ground and this is, and this is uh, the battery. And then this is the ignition sense to know whether the vehicle's on or off. So I've just wired those together. So all I have to do is apply, uh, uh, you know, 12 volts across these and I'm, and I'm good to go. That's ignition sense. Uh, there's transmission enable, which turns on the PA. Uh, power control, which I'm not quite sure about, whether that's like a low power, high power, I don't really know. Um, temperature sensors, there's a thermistor somewhere in there that you can read out the uh, temperature of the thing. Uh, there's a forward power sense, so uh, tucked up in, uh, tucked up over here, uh, oops, I'm sorry. Tucked up over here is a coupler and the coupler takes out the forward power and sends it out to one of the pins. Uh, so you can monitor the forward power of this thing. Uh, then there's a transmit pre-enable. So there's transmit enable and transmit p-enable. So I'm not quite sure what that does. This is it biases things. And then there's a current sense, which says it looks at the voltage drop across, across the current sense resistor. Now in the, in the design here, there's, a, there's, there's two pre-drivers and then the final amplifier. So this is a, a, a driver chip here that's good for two and a half watts. This driver chip is good to 15 watts. And then this driver chip is good to 60 watts. So two and a half, 15, 60. Um, the current, uh, the, 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 the uh, VCC comes in here, then it, it 
it winds its way over to this guy and it goes through this big power resistor and so they measure the voltage across this power resistor to see how much current this guy is getting so that's in there as well and then ground and ground all right so i tried this out and it didn't work uh first of all with nothing attached and then i said okay well i must have to enable the transmit i must have to enable the pre-enable um, so I thought, well, and I kind of looked around and went, well, they're probably just pull-ups. They're probably some kind of transistor that I need to bias up. So I went ahead and tried something. I took, uh, those two pins, transmit and transmit, pre-transmit, and I put 10K resistors, pull-ups, and I made this little board that I can plug on. So I plug this little board on here, and then that adds, it takes the... I think it actually takes the ignition ignition, <laughs> ignition sense and then sends it as uh, uh, enablers for those two pins. And this seems to work. Uh, so uh, pretty excited. Let's go over to uh, let's go over to the test set here and uh, I'll show you this thing in operation. It's pretty cool. Okay, I've got the radio over here and it's gonna be powered up with a, uh, a 12 volt, what is it 12 volt 10 amp supply down there yeah 12 amp 12 volt 12 amp supply down there uh and so that will power the radio and then we have the uh hp test set here the 8921 and so we'll put it into duplex mode so we're going to send out a signal uh that goes into the front of the amplifier and then we'll receive a signal here now don't do this with the spectrum analyzer because we're going to bring in 60 watts into here but this machine can handle 60 watts uh, it has a, 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 a high wattage attenuator built into it, so it's not a spectrum analyzer, it's a radio test set. All right, so let's go ahead and set the generator to 500 megahertz. Um, and uh, so what we're going to be looking for is when we enable the amplifier, uh, the system will automatically measure the frequency. We should see 500 appear here, and then we should see the watts appear here. So. Hopefully everything's gonna work. Let's see here, let's turn it on. And we need to send in some amplitude. Let's put in, uh, let's put in minus 20 dBm. And there we go. Uh, so we're inputting, so coming out of here is going into the front uh, the front connector. It's going through that coax into the into the amplifier, and then out the coax into this connector here, right? And so we have uh, a little bit of power. So we need to up the uh, we need to up the amplitude of the input. So there we go. We can watch the watts coming up. And so at zero dBm, we're having about one watt. Uh, come through the amplifier. Let's go up to plus 5 dBm. We we'll now have about uh, coming up on 4 watts, uh, 10 dBm, 12 watts, and 15 dBm, 15 watts, and we're maxing out at 18 dBm on this machine here. Uh, it actually it actually maxes out earlier than that. Yeah, about plus 10 dBm is all I can get out of this thing. Um, but we're getting uh, 15 watts out of it, so um, needs a little bit higher drive. So uh, 10 dBm is only uh, 10 milliwatts, right? Zero dBm is one milliwatt. 10 dBm is 10 milliwatts. So 10 milliwatts isn't very much. Um, so I did the calculation. Um, in fact, we can do that on paper. But um, if we need uh, about one watt at the second driver, um, let's see, what am I saying? Anyway, uh, plus 10 dBm is about the maximum that we can get out of this thing. Uh, and uh, we're getting about uh, 17 watts uh, through, the, through the amplifier. Uh, I believe this needs to come up 
to the range of plus 20 dBm. Uh, so plus 20 is one, let's see here, 10, 10 dBm is one, 10 milliwatts, 20 dBm is one watt. Uh, so I think one watt is about what you need to get, to get this up to around 50 watts or something like that. Um, the very first stage is a 10 dB stage, and then the next, next stage uh, uh, is one watt in, or something like half a watt in gives you about two watts out. And then the last stage is about uh, something like 10 watts in, five to 10 watts in gives you uh, 50 or 60 watts out. Uh, so there's a, there's a chain there, um, but uh, as things are warming up here, um, plus 10 is giving us about about 20. So anyway, um, I think it will make a great uh, UHF amplifier. Now we can change the frequency a bit. Let's see if we can get it up into the down to the hand bands here. Let's see, 490, 480, 470. There we go. Ooh, we're up to. Uh, 23 watts now, or 60, or 50. There's 440, and there we go, 25 watts. So one, no, 10 milliwatts in, 25 watts out. So uh, yeah, it's working great. And I put my hand over to the heat sink, and it's it's warming up. It's nice. It's cold and <laughs> cold in the shop today. Uh, so yeah, 25 watts. Excellent. So yeah, I think this is make a great uh, thing. We can take a look at this on the, uh, let's see here, we can, let's go back to its, where it wants to be, 500, 500, yeah, let's say, let's say four, yeah, let's say 500, 500 is easy. So let's say 500, we're getting 20 watts. Uh, we're gonna uh, send a carrier, uh, a modulation of five kilohertz with a deviation of uh, 10 kilohertz. And we can look at that with a, uh, with the built-in spectrum analyzer and that, there we go uh, let's see here we can do uh, reference level here 40 and we can do a span of uh, 5 and so seeing, we're seeing the modulation here let's go back to the main RF generator, oh, duplex, I'm sorry, duplex. Let's uh, modulate at uh, 10 kilohertz and we'll do a uh, deviation of five kilohertz. I think it'll be a little easier to see on the spectrum analyzer. There we go. So um, we can see the FM modulation. It's looking pretty good. Uh, we can look for harmonics here. We could do a spectrum analyzer. We can do a center frequency. Let's see, a spectrum analyzer. Uh, center. And let's do a span of 500 megahertz. And we'll do a center of uh, 750 and the uh, second harm so we're gonna have to go back to duplex I want to see the next uh, harmonic so I think we can if we were at 490 we can see our harmonic because this only goes up to a gigahertz uh, that will be good let's go back to spectrum analyzer And let's go here to, oops, let's see, let's do 750 and span of 500 should catch it. Span of 600. So there's one and there's another one. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, yeah, it's way down there. So it's looking good. Twenty watts.